welcome into this presentation of minor league baseball from the double a texas league tonight a matchup of teams at opposite ends of the division between the frisco rough riders and the amarillo sod poodles coming to the plate now yoni hernandez and we are set for baseball here this evening And he lays ball off, four. ball four, and the leadoff man is on to begin the ball game. At the plate, Eli White. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. One and one, here it comes. Backer has registered more than 80 innings of work. And when you look at his whip over those innings, it's not a particularly pretty number, over 1.5. So he's often dealing with a lot of traffic on the base pads, unfortunately. On to first, and they get the double play. Now at the plate, Anthony Buck trying to get him started again following the double play. That misses. It's to two and two now with two away here in the top of the first. This one misses, and that will fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Michael DeLeon would be next. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Stepping into the box, Yvonne Castillo. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the one and one pitch. Hit in the air out to center field. After it is Tavares. But he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he'll get in there safely. At the plate now, Rudy Heron. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. So striding in, Luis Camposano is ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Push softly over toward the right side. But this is speared by the first baseman. So two men are on with one man out. And in the hit next, it'll be Franchi Cordero. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. And he misses with it. Ball four. So that'll load the bases. And now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Stepping in. Kyle Overstreet is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Now the payoff pitch home. Great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. So digging in now, Esteban Quiros. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Hey, this is a huge pitch right here. It would be demoralizing to watch this inning slip away. In the dirt and block behind the plate. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. It misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Into the box now, Hudson Potts. He was hitless in the shutout last night. The set and the 1 1. Perone on third, Cordero at second, Kiros on at first with two down. 
This is popped up. De Leon is there to make the catch, and they'll escape the bases loaded jam by giving up just one run. Second inning set to go, and next it'll be the switch hitting first baseman, Michael De Leon. And the pitch on two and one. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. Total agreement, Matt, in particular that pitcher's mound. You know, one of the things you have to really be careful, not just for the position players, but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully wet when it becomes moist like it is right now. So the umpires are going to have to really pay attention to the conditions on the field. The 1-1. One, one. He stays alive, still two and two. Now the pitch. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. But now in the box, Sam Huff. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. And he fouls this one off. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Well, you don't need us to tell you it's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Well, you could say that again, Matt. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Make sure you don't step in a pool. I think it's time to get the grounds crew out. Now the 2 1 pitch is put in play to the right side of the infield. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. half of the second set to go and next to bat will be the outfielder Taylor Colway in for strike two smoke toward the hole and this will get through into right and he's aboard with a single Into the box, Colin Moore. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Digging in the switch hitter, Devon Castillo. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run, and get you a ribby. And he misses with that one for ball four, so that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. Fouled off. Here he comes again. One, two. Got him. Digging in to try it again. Luis Camposano. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. The set and the one, one. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Settling in now, Ryan Doro comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Into the corner and slicing foul. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. Camposano finds it. The throw to first is in time, one down. Coming to the plate now, Ladarius Clark. He went deep in the contest last night. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Two and two. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. 
Now you guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination, and I'm eliminating the change up this next pitch. I'm on everything else. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Ready for another chance? Yoni Hernandez. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Outside, two and one. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Throw over to the bag, and he'll get back in safely. Runners on first with one down. Runner goes per second. This is in the air to left. Moore comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. Stepping in, Eli White. Now 0 back. for 1 for him here in this one. Eli. Two out with the man at first. White. Not definitely a fastball swing there, but a good time for the changeup. It's full 3-2. Three 3-2, two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Now a check swing here, and no swing, says the home plate umpire. Not even an appeal. It's ball four. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Fouled away. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land untouched. Here's the two and two. And there's their first hit of the game. He'll come home with it. Ah, but this is well up the line and he's safe at home plate. Now that the first base, Michael. Stepping in now, Michael DeLeon. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Franchi Cordero. 1 1. Takes a pitch for strike number two. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the number inning. Number three. So coming to the plate, Kyle Overstreet. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. And you can live with punching out with the bases in. And just passed his outstretched glove into left, a base hit. To the plate now, Esteban Quiros lifted in the air out to right. Right fielder giving chase. Now this will rattle up against the wall. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Now batting, third baseman, Hudson. Potts. Standing in now, Hudson Potts. And there's ball two now. Runners are at second and third with one down. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. The catch is made deep in the alley and here comes the runner from third. And the run is in to score from third. It's now a two to one ball game. Into the box. The right Taylor field, Colway. 15. Taylor. Out of the stretch, the 3 2 home. Count remains full. Here's the payoff pitch. 
Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away. So the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. Now this is driven out to deep right center. This could be trouble. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. Now Colin Moore. So now to the plate, Colin Moore. Fastball well outside. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Clark is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. <laughs> Leading off the inning, a Swan Vieira, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Three and two, full count. Now the payoff pitch home. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Hit sharply on the ground and a base hit so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Into the box now, Sam Huff. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Moore will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Now batting, Leody Tavares as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. One of the things this guy would like to do from the left side is swing it a little bit better against right-handed pitching. This guy has decent numbers, but not great numbers against right-handed pitchers. Now batter, third baseman, Ryan Doro. At the plate now, Ryan Doro. Takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. You fight so hard to get into these type of counts. You can't let this pitch get away from you. You have to keyhole something middle of the plate. Hit hard on the ground to third. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Throw on to first, two gone. At the plate, Ladarius Clark. As yes, he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. The 2-2. Two, two. And he'll try to hold up in time, but to no avail as he went around and the inning is over. of the inning now and standing in as the switch hitting second baseman Devon Castillo from the windup the 1 1 pitch in the outer half here but that one's wide for ball three Rudy Heron waits on deck hit out towards second and that'll get on through into center field so he's got himself a leadoff single now batting the designated hitter Rudy now a throw over and the runner back easily Into the box, Rudy Heron. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Tavares waits on it. One down. 
Now to the plate, Luis Camposano. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 1-1. One, one. one ball, two straight. Heading out towards shallow right. Buck is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And in the hit next, it'll be Franchi Cordero. The 2-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Blake Rogers will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Digging in once again, Yoni Hernandez. A 1-1 pitch. And he gets around on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. Gone to lead off the inning. Stepping in now, Eli White. On a line, that's a base hit. The right fielder, number 33, Anthony. At the plate, Anthony Buck. Count still full, three and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Step on the bag for one. Return throw not in time. And that turned into a closer play than I thought it would at first sight. So here's the cleanup hitter, Michael DeLeon. Over two on his line thus far. Now a throw over to first. And he'll dive back in. Now the one and one pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel to that one. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Full count, three and two. Payoff pitch home. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Now that dedicated hitter. But one. To the plate now, a Swan Vieira. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Pepper. Now at the plate, Sam Huff. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Skied down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. He wants that changeup back right there. Great arm action on that changeup hitter. Was a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Edgar Arredondo, the right-handed reliever, standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Ready now, Kyle Overstreet. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. The 2-2. Two -two. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Grounded back up the middle. He's got it. And there's one down now.
standing in, Esteban Quiroz. He came across to score after doubling in his last at-bat. And he's got to build off that last A-B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at-bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. And it's fouled away. The three, two, one more time. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. So stepping in, Hudson Potts. He hit a sack fly earlier. A three and one pitch. Popped him up. White over to his right. And he makes the catch for the second out. Striding in, Taylor Colway. Already like two for two. He'll look to add on right here. Both teams with six hits so far. Back up the middle. Reined in. And he'll go the short way to retire the shot. Riding into the box, Leody Tavares, one for two on his line so far in the game. Now the three and two pitch. Tough pitch to left, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitters aboard to start the sixth. Riding in once again, Ryan Doro. He was a ground out victim last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Jordan Guerrero takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. So now to the plate, Ladarius Clark. 3-1. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Yoni Hernandez. He's one for two in this one. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter, so I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. The batter. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Eli, Eli White. He White. singled his last time up. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. He's there to make the play and that'll retire the side. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and digging in is the outfielder, Colin Moore. Hit hard towards center, and that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three game so far. The number nine hitter reaches base safely to start the inning, so here comes the top of the order with a man aboard. Standing in now, Devon Castillo. Two balls and a strike now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Swinging a soft liner, but this is pulled in by the shortstop. Next will be the designated hitter, Rudy Hirono. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. He's ready now. The pitch, and he lays off, so it's full now. Three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Hernandez ranging into the outfield. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. So striding forward now, Luis Camposano. He flew out in his last at bat. Now the three and two pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning.
Javi Guerra will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. New inning set to get underway and standing in the outfielder Anthony Buck. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Scooped up. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Michael DeLeon. He'll swing it from the left side right here. This is somewhat of a cause for concern. This guy needs to hit better left handed against right handed pitching. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is foul near the seats. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. Designated hitter. To the plate now is the designated hitter, the Swan Vieira. High in the air out to center field. Cordero is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now with the plate, Sam Huff. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. That's a ball. Three and one now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now, now with two away. The into the box now, Leody Tavares. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. him up over toward the left side of the infield and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. DeMarcus Evans gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Last half of the seventh here and next it'll be the outfielder Franchi Cordero. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should the say. His third punch three. out of the game. Kyle. Three. Now the one and one pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Buck in a few steps as he takes it. Two down. Now Stepping into the box. A step on Kiros. It was a walk in his last Kiro. trip. The one one. Not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not, but I liked it. As a pitcher, sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off the plate by running something hard inside. You can't just let guys be comfortable standing in the batter's box against you. This is line to left, and that'll get down for a two-out single. Success on a three-and-one count to keep the inning alive here. Now back, the third baseman. Into the box, Hudson Potts. Out of play. And another foul ball. We're in the seventh inning now of a 4-3 ball game. Slow little roller to third. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Travis Radke has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. 
All set for the start of the inning and set to go as the third baseman, Ryan Doro. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Off speed pitch misses here, and he runs it to three and one. Hit on the ground out to short. Field it cleanly. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Ready for another shot now. Ladarius Clark. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The 1 1 home. Inside, ball two. three our score here as we play the eighth. Hit the other way out toward right field. Colway will come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. Now back to the top of the lineup stepping in Yoni Hernandez. He's working on a one for three thus far. Set. Here comes the 1 1. Ball two. Two balls, one strike. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to 2 and 2 now. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Arturo Reyes goes on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 75. Leading off the inning, Taylor Colway. And they'll need him to get something going here. Here now the 2 2. It's laid off, and the count runs full. You see a right handed batter waiting next, but he could very well be pulled back as the situation dictates. Reined in. Oh, just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. Now Stepping up to the plate, field. Colin Moore. He's got Colin. a hit in three at bats to this oh. point. The 1 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Tavares waits on it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Von Castillo hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Now the payoff pitch home. Full count still. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. So it's ball four. Ready once again, Rudy Marone. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. All even now, two and two. A runner on first with two away. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside, three and two. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. And he missed with it. Ball four, so that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Here's the 2-1. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Left fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Eli White. Set and the two and one pitch. Took a good cut that time, but comes up empty, two and two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Anthony Buck is on deck. 
line drive to center field. Oh, and this deflects right off him. The right fielder, number 33. Throw over to first, and just here. keeping him close. Stepping in now, Anthony Buck lofted in the air out toward right center. Colway has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first out. Now with the plate, Michael DeLeon. One out, one on, in a one-run game. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Moore is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Striding forward now is the, the DH, Aswan Vieira. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Vieira. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Moore is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Gene Casanova comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And in the hit next, it'll be Franchi Cordero. The 1 1 home. It's a fastball that misses. Three and one. Down by a run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink the strike zone to like the size of a suit can. No reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch. Digging in, Kyle Overstreet. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. And he fouls this one off. The payoff pitch one more time. Lifted down the line in left. And this will fall, but it's a foul ball. Another full count pitch home. Swing and the ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. Pitch number 10 is the one that finally does it as he strikes out after a long battle here. At the plate, Esteban Quiros. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. And that misses two and one. Runner at first here, one man out. Fouled off. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. And he missed with it, ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Breaking ball snaps in there for a called strike two. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Ball two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Three and two now. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. And he misses ball four. So now that potential time run scoots up 90 feet to third base. So striding in, Taylor Colway, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. Fouled away. Bounced up the middle, and that is in the center field as he comes through. It's a base hit. One run is scored. 
And they're going to walk off here with a 5-4 win. Yeah, when he stepped into the box, he was thinking about shortening his swing, finding a way to make contact and score that tying run. But he does even better than that, finding a way to drive the winning run in as well. really helped carry them to victory here in this one and this man was a big reason why he's our tops player of the game he was one of the few guys that really swung the bat well in this game with a pair of base hits he helped propel his team to a hard-fought win This evening's game comes to an end. 5-4, the final tally. The Sod Poodles came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Travis Radke wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Fleezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Here now is our final line score. First for your victorious home team, five runs on nine hits, no errors, they left 12 men on base. For the Rough Riders, four runs on eight hits, no errors, they left 10 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 19 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.